Welcome to the Adobe InDesign Getting Started series. Adobe InDesign is the industry standard publishing app that lets you design and publish high quality documents across a full spectrum of digital and print media. Now when you start a new project in InDesign, there are a lot of ways to begin. You can create a new document from scratch, start from a template, and a lot more. In this video, you'll start a new project by creating a new document. With the latest version of InDesign CC open, you'll see this start screen, which appears when there are no documents open. In the start screen, you can open existing files and create new files. And whether or not the start screen is showing, you can always go to the file menu at the top of the screen to open existing documents or create a new document. To start a new document from scratch, choose File, New, Document. The new document dialog box appears. Yours may look different from what you see here and that's okay. First, choose a preset option like print, web, or mobile, depending on the type of document you're creating. You'll create a document for a brochure that's meant to be saved as a PDF and printed later on. So click print to show a series of preset document sizes for a print document. By choosing the print preset, you're setting several options, including color used and measurement units. After you choose a preset, whether it's print or another one, there are different preset page sizes to begin with. You can even click View All Presets to see more. Select Tabloid to set the page size and know that when you choose a preset size, you can always change the size and all the other options later on after the document has been created. There is also a series of templates found in the New Document dialog box available from Adobe Stock. These templates can be a great way to learn how InDesign projects are built and they can also be used as a way to jumpstart a project for a client, for instance. The templates you see will most likely be different since new templates are added all the time. Now on the right side of this dialog box, you'll see a series of options you can set. Most of the time you won't have to set all these options, but let's look at the options you'll set most. Click to highlight the name and change it to flyer. You don't really have to change the name here, but when you save the document later, this name becomes the name of the file. Click Picas and from the menu choose Inches. These are called the document units. Later when you want to measure something or look at a ruler, this is the measurement unit you'll see. Now you can create a custom document size by changing the width and the height of the document if you want to. You can also change the orientation by clicking one of these options. Click Landscape so the document is in a landscape orientation. Deselect the Facing Pages option here a facing page document is something like a magazine or a book where pages can be arranged in spreads. Now this document will be a flyer, so it'll only be a single page, which means facing pages does not need to be selected. You can start with a number of pages, but you can also do that after the document is created. There are a lot of other options you can set to fine tune the document before you get started. You'll become more familiar with these options the more you work in InDesign. For now, Click Create to create the new document and open it in InDesign. Once the new document is open, you can change the document settings you first set in the Properties panel to the right of the document. To change the size of the initial page, you can choose a preset page size from this menu or enter custom values here. You can change the orientation and do a lot more. Now to save the document, you can choose File, Save. Choose a place to save the document and make sure the InDesign document is selected for the format. Notice the name of the file is Flyer and click Save. Creating new documents in InDesign is something you'll do often. There are a lot of options to explore when setting up a new document, but at first you can keep it simple and know that you can edit document settings like the page size later as you become more familiar with them.